Welcome to Excel Works video tutorials. The title of this presentation is How to Solve Boundary Value ODE System in Excel and Google Sheets with the function BVSolve. In this presentation, we'll show you how to solve an ODE system with specified boundary conditions. Your system must be written as a set of first order differential equations in the form shown here with boundary conditions specified at the endpoints or in fact at any point in your domain. The system can also have as many equations as needed including algebraic equations which would make the system a DAE or di differential algebraic equation system. Let me begin by introducing the function bvsolve. bvsolve requires four parameters. The first parameter is a reference to the ODE formulas on the right hand side. The second parameter is a reference to the ODE variables and those include the independent variable x and the differential variables. The third parameter is a reference to the boundary conditions matrix. We will talk about the format of this matrix shortly. The fourth parameter is a definition for your spatial domain which defines your starting point and end point locations. BVSolve also takes additional optional parameters which enables you to control the algorithm tolerances and supply additional input if you have a DAE system which includes algebraic constraints. BVSolve is not a standard function in Excel or Google Sheets. To enable BVSolve in Excel you will need to install the Excelab Calculus functions add-in if you're running Excel on a Windows PC, download Excel App 7 from excel-works.com. If you're running Excel on an Apple Mac, install it directly from the Microsoft App Store store. In your Excel ribbon, click Insert, Get Add-ins, search for the Calculus add-in and add it. If you're working with Google Sheets, simply install it from the Google Marketplace. To demonstrate BVSolve, I'll be solving the following fourth order boundary value problem which represents a uniformly loaded beam of variable stiffness supported at both ends. Using standard variable substitution I converted the fourth order ODE shown above to a system of first order differential equations as shown here with the boundary conditions shown below in the domain 1 to 2. Here we have both the variable z and v fixed at position x equal 1 and at position x equal 2 as well. The boundary condition matrix for BVSolve has the following format. It's a two-dimensional array. In the first column we list the location of the boundary condition which can be anywhere in the domain. The corresponding column contains the formulas for the boundary conditions. In this example we have two boundary conditions at x equal 1 and the boundary condition is always written with respect to 0 on left. So we have z at 1 equals 0 that translates to equal z. Similarly for v, we have v equal 0 at 1 and that translates to a boundary condition equal v. The same thing applies at location equal 2. Next I'll solve this system in Excel. Though I'll be using Excel, the procedure for solving the system in Google Sheet is virtually identical. I've started Excel with an empty book and copied the problem we will be solving for reference. The first thing I would like to do is name my variables. It will be more convenient to work with named variables rather than row addresses. I need x for the special dimension. I need w, v, u, and Z. These are the labels of my variables. Now I'm going to name the cells that represent my variables using the name manager in Excel. So I'm going to click and click new and Excel proposes the name X for me. I'm going to do the same for the other four variables. So now if I click on any of these variables, you can see the name displayed 
in the left corner here and I'm going to name this column as variables next in column C I'm going to define my corresponding formulas on the right hand side X does not have a formula now starting with W we are going to represent the right hand side here as a formula in Excel now that I've named my variables I can work with their names directly and I get a division by zero this is expected because the formula involves division by x and it's undefined so to avoid this to resolve this error I'm just going to assign one for x the next formula is simple is just equal w and the third formula is equal v and the fourth formula is equal u I'm done defining my system equations now I need to define my boundary condition BCs as explained earlier I have four boundary conditions at 1 1 2 and 2 at 1 I have equal Z and equal V and this repeats 2 at 2 This is, this is all the input I need to pass to bvsolve in addition to the domain. I'm now ready to run my bvsolve. My first argument is my equations. My second argument is my variables my third argument is my BC matrix and my fourth argument is my domain which goes from 1 to 2 I happen to be working with Excel Lab 365 so I can take advantage of the spell feature and simply press enter BVSoft calculates the solution and automatically expands into neighboring cells the format of the solution is very simple in the first column I have the output domain between 1 and 2 uniformly divided and in corresponding columns I have values for the differential variables by default in Excel Lab 365 it gives you 20 divisions of the domain we will show shortly how you can control this via optional arguments now that I have a solution I can highlight my solution and plot the result quite easily by inserting a plot since the scale is different for the four variables I can clarify I can make the plot clear by selecting a secondary axis for some of these variables and so forth this is all it takes to solve a system of boundary value ordinary differential equations with BV solve I'd like to talk a little bit about the solution format and how you can control the resolution of the solution as we have seen BV solve outputs the solution in the following format shown here where the first column is your positions uniformly divided and the corresponding columns is the value of your variables now by default if you are running on Excel Lab 365 you can use the spell feature as we have done and it will automatically generate a default solution for you using 20 divisions for your domain however if you want to higher resolution you can easily change that by using argument or parameter number four uh, in our presentation we've used the default setting which simply passing the limits for our domain between 1 and 2 but as I'm but as shown here you can add a third argument to require the number of divisions in the output or you can supply exactly the points that you want outputted in your solution we can try we will show this shortly 
One important thing to keep in mind though is the spell feature is only available in Excel Lab 365 and Google Sheets. If you are running Excel Lab 7 on Windows, unfortunately the spell feature is not available. And the only way you can run BVSolve as an array formula in a pre-allocated output array by pressing Ctrl Shift Enter. However, these controls for the desired number of output points apply exactly the same way whether you are in Excel Lab 365 or Excel Lab 7. The difference is the way you would run BVSolve. One other difference is if you are in Excel Lab 7, there is no default size for the solution. It really depends on the size of the allocated array that you have chosen. If you choose too big of an array, it will give you more resolution. If you choose too small of an array, it will give you a uh, coarser resolution. So let's try this directly in Excel. I'm back in Excel, so let me move this chart away and demonstrate some of these features. So this is the default solution I obtained with the spell feature. As, you, as I explained, you just have to press enter and it will recompute the solution for you and expand. Now if I don't like this resolution or I'm looking for less or more resolution, I can simply, in argument number four, choose, for example, the number of divisions. So I can, for example, specify only 10 divisions and let's see what happens. So now you see it's given me uh, 10 divisions between 1 and 2. Uh, likewise, I can specify a larger number of divisions, for example, 30 divisions. And now I have a finer resolution here, although the solution gets qu quickly bigger. Now, if you are working with Excel Lab 7, the spell feature unfortunately is not available. That's the way Excel works, so we will have to run BV Solve as an array formula. Let me demonstrate this for you. To save some time, I am going to go back to the default case and just copy the formula. I'm going to delete my solution. And now the way you would run this in Excel Lab 7 is first you have to allocate your array. We need four columns and the number of rows you allocate is really arbitrary. I'm going to allocate 22 and then I'm going to press in my formula bar, copy my formula or type it in and now instead of pressing enter I have to press Control shift enter at the same time. And Excel calculates the solution for me. Now as you see Excel will also place curly brackets around your formula to indicate that this is an array formula. That's one entity. You cannot change any part of it. Now the difference is if I try to shrink my solution by specifying only 10 divisions, see what happens. Again I have to press Control shift enter So it only gave me 10 points but it does not reallocate the array for me because this is already allocated before. Uh, the only way to get rid of this part is you will have to actually delete the solution and recreate the array, reallocate the array. Uh, if you try, for example, to use more than 20 points, let's say 30 points, it will only give you up to the available array. So see, it only stopped at 1.6. It did not go beyond all the way to 2 because there is no allocated array here. So in order to solve this problem, I will have to allocate a larger array as you see here, for example, and then try again. Now I get all my solution. I missed one row here, but that doesn't matter. We can make this even bigger. And run it again with Control shift enter and now I get my entire solution. So it works slightly differently in Excel Lab 7 compared to the other two versions, but uh, these limitations are dictated by Excel and uh, that's the way it is. I'd like to also point out an important syntax difference between Excel Lab 7, 365 and Google Sheets. And that pertains to how to pass multiple variables in one parameter. In the example we solved, 
we named our variables in one contiguous range, so it was easy for us to pass the range address. However, in general, you may not do that, and you may just use row addresses which are not contiguous. For example, x1, y1, and y2, which you cannot supply as a range address. In this case, the way you would pass them in a one parameter depends on the version of Excel Lab you're using. In Excel Lab 7, you can use the union range syntax as I show here. You simply surround your variables with parentheses and Excel will pass them to you as one reference in this parameter. If you are working with Excel Lab 365, unfortunately that union range syntax is not supported. So as a convenience, we allow you to pass them using that syntax but as a string. If you are working with Google Sheets, you can pass them using the curly brackets or the constant array syntax as, as shown here. So be aware of this if you need to pass multiple variables that are not in a contiguous range into any of the solvers. Next, I would like to talk a little bit about the optional inputs for BVSolve. BVSolve takes additional three optional parameters. Parameter number five allows you to specify the number of algebraic constraints or equations in your system. If you have a D DAE system, which is a differential algebraic equation system, where one of the variables is not differential but algebraic, and on your left-hand side it will be zero equal some formula, then you can specify the number of such equations in system in parameter number five. If you do have these algebraic equations in the system, you must arrange these equations at the end. So the f let's say you have three equations, two of them differential, and the last one is algebraic. So the algebraic formula has to be placed at the end, and you would specify the number one in parameter five. The sixth parameter allows you to control the tolerance. You can specify uh, global tolerance for the, all the variables, or you can individually supply the relative tolerance for each variable, a custom tolerance for each variable. The seventh parameter offers a set of key value pairs for uh, advanced algorithmic controls. Generally, you don't need to change any of this, but one useful uh, key that um, provides you additional information is the error estimate key. If you turn this value to true, it will provide you a global estimate of the errors in your differential variables. So let me demonstrate this in Excel. I'm back here in Excel, and this is my BV solve formula. So I'm going to either pass zero for the fifth parameter or skip it. And I'm going to skip the tolerance parameter and I'm going to make use of the error estimate key by setting its value to true. Okay, now if we make use of this variable, notice that actually uh, a new row has been added to our solution. The last row now gives us the an estimate, a global estimate of the error in these variables. And in fact, we have done very well because the error is very small. Generally, this can be helpful to see the relative error between these variables. If one of the variables is showing a larger error, you might want to set a diff slightly different tolerance for this particular variable using optional argument number six. But in this case, the errors is very small for all variables, so we are doing well with the default values. In this presentation, we describe the boundary value solver, BVSolve, which is part of the Excel Lab 7 calculus functions add-in. The add-in contains a dozen of other calculus functions for solving integration, differentiation, interpolation, and solving equations differential equations and partial differential equations as well. If you're interested in any of these problems, check excel-works.com for examples. Thank you.